Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you the fix for Lombok related issues in newer version of IntelliJ. Well, lot of students facing Lombok related issues in a newest version of IntelliJ idea. So in this lecture, let us see how to fix the Lombok related issues. So let us create one sample Spring Boot project and let us see how to fix the Lombok related issues. So just open Spring Initialize over here and here let us choose the project type Marvin, language Java, Spring Boot latest version and here just fill up the project metadata. So let us give the project name as Spring Boot Lombok. The artifact name is same as the project name. Next description, demo project for Spring Boot and Lombok. And then key packaging name, com.example.springboot. Next packaging jar. Next choose the latest version of Java that is Java 23. Next go to the dependency section and let us add the dependency that is Lombok and choose this Lombok dependency. Next click on the explore button over here. Well if you look at the palm.xml content over here. So in a recent version of Spring Boot the Lombok dependency is marked as optional. You can see optional true. Next scroll down and go to the plugin section and here in a recent version of Spring Boot the Maven compiler plugin is added and the Lombok is added to the annotation processor paths and here if you go to the Spring Boot Maven plugin the Lombok dependency is excluded that's why you are facing issues with Lombok in an integer idea ok so let us see how to fix this issue just close this and just generate this project and here go to the location where the project is downloaded as a zip file and just extract this zip file Next, let us open the IntelliJ IDEA and let us import this Spring Boot project. So here, just search for IntelliJ IDEA and open the IntelliJ IDEA over here. Next, in order to import the project, just click on open button and then go to the location where your Spring Boot application is present. In my case, it's a download folder. So within download folder, I have Spring Boot Lombok project. So just expand this. Within that, you can see Spring Boot Lombok. So just choose this project and they expand the IntelliJ idea over here all right perfect now we have imported Spring Boot project in IntelliJ idea next first we need to install the Lombok plugin in IntelliJ idea so in order to install the Lombok plugin go to the main menu here and go to the settings and here just search for plugins so go to the plugin section and here in a marketplace just search for Lombok and search in a marketplace and you can see here Lombok just go ahead and click on this install button or you can see in the install section it's also available so just click on this install button to install this Lombok plugin and next go ahead and click on apply and then ok now the Lombok plugin is successfully installed in order to verify that again go to the settings and go to the plugins and here just search for installed Lombok and you can see Lombok is successfully installed next what you need to do is you need to enable the annotation processor as well so in a settings just search for annotation and you can see here enable annotation processor so under compiler so go to the compiler under compiler you can see an annotation processors so just tick mark this and here click on apply and ok so this is it. Now we have set up the Lombok in a IntelliJ idea. Next, in order to solve the Lombok related issues, we need to change the pom.xml file. So here by default, in a recent version of Spring Boot, the Lombok dependency is marked as a optional. You can see here, optional true. So in order to fix this, we need to add the Lombok dependency version explicitly. For example, just go to the Google and in a new tab, just search for Lombok Maven dependency hit enter and go to the Maven repository over here and choose the latest version of Lombok Maven dependency and just copy this dependency and go to the project and just replace this with this dependency now you have a Lombok dependency version okay next copy this version and go to the plugin section over here and here also add the Lombok version and here also add the Lombok version. 
So make sure that you add a Lombok version in a Spring Boot Marvin plugin as well as Marvin compiler plugin section. Okay, next go ahead and click on this load Marvin changes icon over here. All right. Now we have resolved the Lombok related issue. In order to verify this, what we can do is we can create one sample class and we use Lombok annotation. So here just create one Java class called student and let us quickly create instance variables like int id and then name. Next let us use the Lombok annotations like at getter at setter at no argument constructor annotation and at all argument constructor annotation next go to the main entry point class and go to the main method over here and here just create an object of the student class student student equal to new student and then pass the values to the constructor id1 name ramesh next put the system error print ln and then call the getter methods student dot get id and then student dot get name okay so here basically we are checking whether the lombok provided getter setter methods are working or not okay next let us run the spring boot application and let us see whether the lombok annotations will work or not and you can notice here the output the lombok annotations are working as expected like we are calling the getter methods that is provided by lombok at getter annotation so this is how you can resolve the issue so in a pom.xml just add the lombok dependency version explicitly that's it this will resolve your issue all right great i will see you in the next lecture